I like it when we have our little on-air mm-hmm. meetings. The, yeah, uh, these guys are here. The sex shop guys there. are here. Seem to be enjoying what they've heard so far. Well, Seem ni- like nice uh, business people. Let's Jesse. play on the momentum right wouldn't, now. Wouldn't mind giving up the seat there, buddy. The uh, company's called uh, Heat of the Moment Express.com, and we'll find this has even been mentioned, I, I understand, on. Uh, you know, they have a reality show. Is that true? Really? Yeah, we made our own reality show. They made their own reality show, okay? And they've, were, they've even been mentioned on uh, Conan O'Brien in uh, several magazines. TorontoMagazine.com. Was that in the sex uh, issue? Which one, the uh, The Grid. We got oh, the, grid? In the Grid? Okay. We got mentioned in um, Extra Magazine. Please well, welcome uh, Roberto Piazza. Oh, yes. Is that you? Yes, that's And uh, Bruno Bistilli. Yes. Roberto and Bruno. No, what Howard was referring to is that a lot of these publications in the new year, for whatever reason, I guess, heading up to uh, Valentine's Day, is there are a lot of sex surveys, right? And a lot of those sex surveys deal with toys. Do you, don't you, do you need, do they help? That type of thing. So I guess this is a big part of the year for you. Heading is, into Yeah, this is our Christmas. Yeah, I bet it is. Yes, yes. Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. A lot of customers buy sex toys during Valentine's But you know what? They end up using them themselves most of the time. It's more about self-pleasure. Oh. R- Roberto yeah. and, uh, and Bruno. Let's just go back to the beginning. Where did the idea for the the notion of selling er, uh, erotic uh, and adult toys, but to to make the 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 sort of twist on it is, uh, you can get it there in an hour. I think the main thing is uh, the purchase sometimes can be a hassle. Either going into a store and sure. buying, you'll see some of these uh, intense some of these products we brought in. That'll be, it's a little. I don't know. I, me, myself, I never would have been able to buy a toy in a store. Or if you order online, it can take up to two weeks, and you never mm-hmm. really know when it's going to come. Mm-hmm. Where now, as you place an order, and we get it delivered, you get it delivered in an hour. Um, you know, no one does it. And mm-hmm. No, no, that's a great concept. So is that part, so part of it is uh, the idea of it's there in an hour type of like, like pizza. Yep. Yeah. But it's also that... It's not necessarily about the speed of it. It's the idea of being able to order it and know it'll be there without you having to have any face-to-face. Exactly. Like, Discretion. Exactly. And getting it now. Right. I'm just sitting here, though, thinking, <laughs> you know, you know, you have a little toot, one or two, and you order a pizza. What's you order, a toot? <laughs> you know what you do. You know. Oh, toot. You get a little <laughs> high. high. Toot. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> okay, right? so you get, get a little high. Like everybody else. You order a pizza, <laughs> right? You order a sex toy. You get mixed up, right? You eat the dildo and shove the pizza up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you, what, did you, what exactly are you smoking, peyote? We actually do free pickups, so oh, we can yeah, all do all that. We'll pick Fred's, up the pizza for just you. Had this vision of Fred in his shorts, all half naked, eating, gnawing on a dildo, and sitting on a pizza. <laughs> yeah, what kind of drug are you taking? These things happen. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. And then you put your baby in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> so. Heat of the oh. Moment <laughs> Express dot com is now. Do you have an actual store? It's just a warehouse. Just a warehouse. Just a warehouse. Just me and Bruno and two girls, Inga and Melissa. Are they uh, are they attractive women? Inga is. Yeah. Is, have you ever? Uh, Melissa's. Oh, sorry, Melissa. Yes, yeah, right. Melissa's attractive. You better as watch well. that, buddy. Yeah, really. <laughs> Uh, it's my Melissa's partner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Don't say that. Mm-hmm. Now, are these your girls? Are these your? No, they're our team. They're team mm-hmm. members. Uh, okay. Melissa and Bruno are one team, and me and Inga are another team. Nice. And uh, we manage all the deliveries, all the customer contacts, all the purchasing. They handle all the chatting with the customers. You can so chat online with. You can them. chat online with them up. How long has the business the been? Uh, uh, it's been about a year and a half. Year and a half. Yeah. How is business? Business, business is getting better. It's getting better. We're we're doubling our sales. Um, you know, it's a uh, it's a long road. To, you know, you, you sure. make a lot of mistakes. You know what I mean? We made a lot of mistakes, but again, you know, a lot of the magazines have been very nice to us. So you, when you say you make mistakes, like you, you know, you ordered uh, a thousand. Uh <laughs> you know, cripplers or something. Yeah, you know, ass <laughs> cripplers. <laughs> ass cripplers. <laughs> Nobody so wants to ask no. cripple. And I'd like, love to be in the board meeting when you, oh, geez, we really made a mistake with the ass crippler. <laughs> you know, it, we thought it would sell, but it didn't. It, uh, sales of the oh. crippler are down. One better, guy bought better it, move. We got sued. Yeah, better move, better move those at the flea market. <laughs> Let's go to the Pacific Mall. Um, so you may, yeah, hey, listen, it's like any other business. And, uh, and so you based you, so back to my question about a warehouse. Is there like a big warehouse of of dildos and lotions somewhere? Yeah, yep. we have about two hundred fifty products. We're 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 expanding. Um, the warehouse is not that big, but uh, we have them hanging on the walls mm-hmm. like any other company. And how do you get the things there in an hour? 
you know, Toronto's not that big. It's not. You know, from our location, we can be anywhere in an hour. Like, we but, can go up to Barrie if we want to. But so do you, besides the four people you spoke of, mm-hmm. you don't deliver too. Yes, we, we deliver. Do. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so you guys do deliver? a lot of the dirty guys, work. Yeah. Yes. So it's 11 o'clock at night and I want a Three in the morning. We go till three in the morning. So you're so, there, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. You're, yeah. You and Melissa are just like watching TV, and then you're like, all of a sudden an order comes in for a, I don't know, a lubricating bunny or something. Yeah. I don't even know. So yeah. this is, of course, this is overtaking your lives, but you got to do yeah. that. When it's overtaking a, our lives. In the yes. early part of a business, of course. Yeah. Yep. Boy, we, we, you know, that's commitment. We had to develop a whole delivering strategy mm-hmm. for our customers, the whole discreet delivering, you sure. know. Sure. Sometimes I mean, <laughs> you don't pull up in the you know, truck no, with the big the giant dildo, dildo on the truck. No, <laughs> it'd be funny. But we what also, the hell are the Pattersons? Where are the Pattersons getting the <laughs> delivery from the big dildo truck? <laughs> we, you know, customers request it. They're like, "Please don't knock on my door." Yeah. Please, I'll meet you in the back. I'll, you know, sure. different areas. Some customers meet us at Tim Hortons. Oh yeah. Um, some don't even want to see us where they'll leave if they pay cash. Do you have some uh, rubber tin bits you can shove up a person's butt? <laughs> yes, <laughs> we, have, we brought them in. Excellent. Um, <laughs> what did you bring in? But you're saying way? most of it's self pleasure. So you're That's what I believe. That's you're, what I believe. You're delivering to single people. Or um, people that are alone or want to pleasure themselves alone. You know, the way I look at it is a lot mm-hmm. of these sex toy companies, they're trying to market to couples. Right. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's the right avenue. I think it's more about self pleasure and um our customers will just Probably use it with their spouse, maybe, or a boyfriend or girlfriend once. Mm-hmm. And then after that, they'll just hide it and use it whenever they <laughs> well, want. Well, mm-hmm. let's start with, uh, this is called Fergie. <laughs> yes, that's the, that's one of our, we have. It's uh, a love doll yeah, that, that you gets, blow up. Yeah. And it says here, Fred, it's uh, she's filthalicious, <laughs> featuring three filthy love holes. Yes, all of them filthy. <laughs> oh, my God. I think they talk to you as well. No. Uh, but these are One of our best sellers right there, the Fergie Love these doll. doll like Miley okay. Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. She's young, and, she's young, dumb, and old enough for, you know. Yeah. What do you do? Just, one of our newest ones is... <laughs> oh, it's a blow-up boy. <laughs> Justin, Justin, Justin Beaver. Justin Beaver. <laughs> Justin Beaver. Love doll. <laughs> Isn't that wild? So you just changed the spelling enough and what have you. Yeah, yeah you can do and whatever that's, you want. Really? And this one says, now with two love holes. <laughs> really? <laughs> Is that an artificial ass I see on the floor? You know, that, we're What's that? Can you take that? Uh, oh. Thank you very much. We're going to be giving away this. <laughs> Look at this. You know, only on this show can you hear the words, <laughs> Is that an artificial ass I see on the floor? Let <laughs> what me is see that? This. That's what 20 that? pounds of love over there. Oh it's God. the Pipe Dream Extreme. Pipe Dream Extreme, yeah. Yep. Over it's 20, it says over 20 pounds. Get ready, Jesse. Over 20 pounds of pussy and ass. <laughs> yes. Howard, yes. I'll buy your lunch if you attack that right now in front of the crew. Come that's on. Our, that's our contest giveaway. This is called the Fuck Me Silly. Yes. Mega <laughs> Masturbator. It's 20 pounds of flesh. No. Well, not human flesh. How many do you move a lot of those? Yes, we do actually. You do. Because <laughs> it's a discreet product and nobody right. wants to go to the store to buy it. Of so course not. Would it you open this up? If, if yes, we open it up, is it ruined? No, no, no. As and long no, as we don't listen, you're going to have to buy me a lot more than lunch to see me do this here in the studio. <laughs> Maybe supper. <laughs> if you guys don't mind, you can also sign that. We're giving, you you're giving it away. You can really? sign the ass if you want. Oh, yeah. And what is that worth? The the artificial ad. Three ninety nine. Now, does go over now? Does that sell a lot? Uh, the artificial ass? Mm-hmm. It does. It gets a lot of contacts on our website. We right. can see on our website what people view. And okay. to be honest, this is one of the can most. We got to put a picture of that on our website. I mean, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Phil, like, why don't we get a little video of this? Phil. Yeah. Definitely. Because we can. We got to share this with the audience. <laughs> Bruno, Roberto, kiss me. Got to get the ass out. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Can you imagine that into our studio walking right now while this artificial ass is being revealed is a bronze a medal winner, Kurt Harnett, everyone. Uh, Kurt's coming up in uh, our next segment here. And uh, no, don't. We'll, we'll explain all of this. Okay, Kurt? Don't worry about it. 20 pounds of love. Oh, my God. Isn't that something? Mm-hmm. Gotta okay, you gotta, he's revealing wow. the... Phil, let's get some video of this, okay? <laughs> and then we'll put this up on uh, the, the website today, that. humbleandfredradio.com. Phil? <laughs> <laughs> Here, hang on a second. Can, can you, it's like uh, Phil? Yep. Here you can, go. Just, can you grab the light there, Kurt? Let's just get the light on. So let's, let's put that down. Oh my. <laughs> a, you, know what, you know what? On the right angle, it's a, that could fool a fella. Mm-hmm. Now don't so, spin in it. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I won't. 
<laughs> Roberto. So this Who? is uh, now. That's a really. Here, Who's it's a nice ass? Was that made from the mold of a like a famous person's ass or anything? Probably. Like yeah, I hope it's star. a female. Yeah. There's a lot of them that do, but this one I don't think is specifically to any, okay. any specific right. model. Now, Phil, just so you know, <laughs> that's where the pee pee goes, and sometimes birthdays and that type of thing. <laughs> <That's where you're laughs> All right. Here, you should have a look. Here, there we go. You know, we sell a lot of it's those. Heavy. Um, it's. Oh. They get a lot. Now, Fred. I throw my back out. <laughs> Tell that to your chiropractor. Hello. That hurts your you? back, Fred. How are you? Now you're Good making the ass you. talk. <laughs> that's something. Isn't that something? Oh, goodness. Steven got the little tailbone there. You know, oh, you no, guys know do great nice. work because you know how many, there's a lot of guys out there, right, that need something. And this is something right here. <laughs> Wait a second. I mean, well, like I said, a lot of guys out there that need to fuck a rubber ass. <laughs> and yeah. you're providing that type oh, of... In one hour. Yes. No, in ser- I'm being serious, though. There's a lot of guys out there that need something. And, you know, as I've said, put it on the edge of the bed on the right angle. Who's to know the difference, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Uh-huh. You just put, like, covers on it. Mm-hmm. Like I, That's right. You would just cover everything but the mm-hmm. rubber butt. Mm-hmm. And then you would approach it from behind with the right lighting. <laughs> And uh, yeah, they see. Oh, there and we got go. videos on the site on. Yeah, it's got. Yeah, it's you got. Can it. Sit, you can have her sit on your lap ah, there okay. for a little. While. No. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But there's oh, a. Oh. 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 Fred can. And I'm telling you right now, Fred. Big there's a lot of products oh, that you know. For that's an invader. Yeah, that's the big boy. It's like ten it's, inches of love. It says. Uh, Dong. I love the fact that it says dong with scrotum mm-hmm. because, you know, you don't want the dong sans scrotum. Uh, what is the Oasis uh, big boy sell yep. for? That one's twenty nine ninety five. Will all of the big boy fit in the artificial butt? Yes, yeah. it will. Really? Yeah. That was well, the concept that I'm bringing it to. So you know what? I'm almost sorry I asked that question. <laughs> so is there a chip in this to, like, reenact a pussy fart or anything? Uh, I don't know. I haven't had a chance to try it. Wow. <laughs> you know, Fred's like, yeah, I'd really like to have sex with this if only she could pussy fart. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. Wait, am I, am I blow, are we blowing the hell out of this segment? No, it's just going to be beeped <laughs> beep, and cut beep. out and beeped. Uh, hey, Phil, be prepared. Be prepared, Phil. <laughs> no, I don't need to hold the artificial butt anymore. Uh, what else have you got? It's a uh, Roberto uh, Piazza and Bruno Bastilli. Their, their bit is... Heat of the moment, express.com. Uh, anywhere in the GTA? Yeah, anywhere in the GTA, one hour delivery, 10 a.m. till 3 a.m. Order a sex toy, and uh, it will be there in an hour. And this is what? That's our best seller, the Sasha Gray Pocket Pussy. <laughs> That's one and made after. Yeah, you just <laughs> wrap it around your knob and start stroking it. <laughs> Obviously. Yes, I mean, exactly. Oh, really? <laughs> that, doesn't yes. come with oh, really? Explain How that. much of this can we leave in? <laughs> <laughs> As though that weren't <laughs> obvious to everyone. Strap it around your knob and start stroking. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, it now comes with instructions, though, right? No, I bet you it comes when mm-hmm. you do. <laughs> There's these as well. I don't know if you've heard of these types of models. Oh, the Fleshlight. Oh, yeah, I've talked about Which, the Fleshlight. This is a very no. famous item, the yes. Fleshlight. Yeah, mm-hmm. the Fleshlight, one of our be other re- best sellers. A lot of mm-hmm. guys buy. You know what? 70% of our customers are guys. Sure. Yeah. Um, they hate shopping. Really? They hate, yeah, they hate going out to buy the stuff. They'd mm-hmm. rather have it delivered. They hate waiting for it. They, you know, the guys are more heat of the moment than women. Mm-hmm. So they'll just um, order it, right? And but these products are tough to purchase again in store. So the one hour delivery is perfect. Yep. Heat of the moment uh, Check it out online. We'll put a link at humbleandfredradio.com and uh, we'll put the video of the artificial butt up on our website. Mm hmm. Perfect. Or even hotme.ca it's, uh, as well. That's okay. the That's And the guys easy. will link you, and we'll put the video on our website so that everybody uh, can get a complete idea of what took place here today. 